Hey guys, it's Lord of the Pogs. Halloween Ends dropped last week and everyone's talking about it. It completes the sequel trilogy that began in 2018, a direct sequel to the original film also titled Halloween. There's 12 other Halloween movies that mostly diverge from the 1978 film into three separate storylines, as well as a fourth storyline that began with the remake in 2007 and a fifth storyline that failed to take off in 1982. In the first timeline, Halloween centers on a mental patient, Michael Myers, who is committed to a sanitarium for murdering his babysitting teenage sister on Halloween night when he was six years old. Fifteen years later, he escapes and returns to his hometown where he stalks Laurie Strode and her friends while under pursuit by his psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis. The film ends when Dr. Loomis shoots Michael Myers six times and he falls off a balcony, but when he walks to the balcony to see, Michael Myers has vanished. Halloween 2 picks up directly after the first film, with Michael Myers following survivor Laurie Strode to the local hospital, while his psychiatrist, Dr. Loomis, continues his pursuit of him. The film ends with Dr. Loomis igniting a tank of flammable gas, but Michael Myers escapes engulfed in flames. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, follows him returning to Haddonfield after being in a coma to kill his niece, Jamie Lloyd, the daughter of Laurie Strode, with his former psychiatrist, Dr. Sam Loomis, again pursuing him. The film ends when Michael Myers gets thrown from a moving truck into a ditch near an abandoned mine and police shoot him until he falls down the mine shaft. Following this, Dr. Loomis finds Jamie Lloyd holding a pair of bloody scissors after attacking Darlene Carothers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, follows Michael Myers who again returns to the town of Haddonfield to murder his niece, Jamie Lloyd, traumatized from his previous attack, has been institutionalized following her attempt to murder her foster mother at the end of Halloween 4. The film ends when Michael Myers is taken into custody, but he escapes after an explosion occurs at the police station. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, follows Michael Myers as he stalks the Strode family in order to kill his last surviving relatives, while Dr. Sam Loomis pursues him once more. The film ends when Tommy Doyle beats Michael Myers unconscious with a lead pipe. In a different shot, his mask is seen laying on the floor while Dr. Loomis screams in the background. In the second timeline, Halloween H20, 20 years later, is a reboot of the franchise starting after the events of the first two films. It follows a post-traumatic Laurie Strode who has faked her death in order to go into hiding from Michael Myers who finds her working at a private boarding school in California. The film ends when Laurie decides to face Michael Myers head-on, stabbing him numerous times before running him over with a van and decapitating him with an axe. Halloween Resurrection follows Michael Myers continuing his murderous rampage in his hometown of Haddonfield when his childhood house is used for a live internet horror show. We find out that at the end of Halloween H20, Michael Myers put his mask over the van driver so that Laurie actually decapitated him and Michael got away. Halloween Resurrection ends with Michael Myers taken to a morgue, but as the coroner prepares to examine his body, he suddenly awakens. In the third timeline, Halloween 2018 ignores Halloween 2 and all subsequent sequels. It follows a post-traumatic Laurie Strode who prepares to face Michael Myers in a final showdown on Halloween night 40 years after she survived his killing spree, and ends with her burning down her house with Michael Myers locked inside. Halloween Kills begins where the previous film ended with Laurie Strode and her family continuing to fend off Michael Myers with the help of the Haddonfield community. It ends when a mob attacks Michael Myers and disperses, but Michael recovers and kills the remaining members. Halloween Ends kills Michael Myers off once and for all, with Laurie Strode slitting his neck and both wrists before throwing his body into an industrial shredder. In the fourth timeline, Halloween 2007 is a remake of the 1978 film of the same name and follows the premise of the original with Michael Myers stalking Laurie Strode and her friends on Halloween night. Halloween 2, 2009, is a sequel to the remake of the original film and follows Laurie Strode as she deals with the aftermath of the previous film's events. Dr. Loomis, who is trying to capitalize on those events with a new book, and Michael Myers as he seeks to reunite with his sister and it ends with Laurie Strode stabbing Michael to death with his own knife. In the fifth timeline, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is the only Halloween film that does not feature Michael Myers and departs from the slasher genre and instead features a witchcraft theme with science fiction aspects. 
The creators of Halloween stated that there were many ideas for Halloween-themed films, some of which could have potentially created any number of their own sequels, and that Season of the Witch was meant to be the first. After the film's disappointing reception, it was also the last. The first timeline is the original in the franchise. Halloween 2 is the only sequel directed by John Carpenter besides Halloween 3. John Carpenter signed away his rights to Mustafa Akkad, who oversaw the production of Halloween 4, 5, and 6. I believe this timeline most closely resembles John Carpenter's original concept for the film series. The second timeline strayed from the original concept and moved the events of the first two films somewhat into the realm of mythos. After the events of Halloween H20, Halloween Resurrection centers around a reality show inspired by the Michael Myers murders. It's little more than a game of cat and mouse between who lives and who dies, and John Carpenter apparently found it too cringy and unenjoyable. The third timeline started in 2016, when Blumhouse obtained the rights to the franchise and John Carpenter signed on as executive producer. When he heard the pitch, his response was, they get it. John Carpenter advised Rob Zombie to make the reboot his own, and Rob Zombie killed Michael Myers off at the end of his Halloween 2, promptly ending the reboot series there. However, Michael Myers remains alive in the first two timelines. After the release of Halloween Ends, Jason Blum stated that it would be the last Halloween film under Blumhouse, although it wasn't necessarily the last film in the franchise, and John Carpenter reiterated that future installments could be produced if the film was a success, which is debatable. It currently holds 39% on Rotten Tomatoes, 45% on Metacritic, and c on CinemaScore. But there's still time for it to be a sleeper hit. Due to its poor reception, it's unlikely, albeit not impossible, that a new installment would pick up where Halloween Resurrection left off. It's more unlikely, although still not impossible, that Rob Zombie would produce a third installment to his reboot to make out a trilogy. Michael Myers died at the end of Halloween 2, but we were also led to believe that he died at the end of Halloween H20, and they were able to bring him back for Halloween Resurrection. Of the three timelines that spun off the original movie, I think it's most likely that a new installment would pick up where the curse of Michael Myers left off in 1995 as Halloween 7. However, Halloween 4 was originally intended to be a ghost story as part of an anthology series that Halloween 3 was intended to be the first installment of, but after its disappointing reception, that idea was abandoned in favor of the return of Michael Myers. I'd be really interested what that would look like as a Halloween 7, and Halloween Ends would be a really good opportunity to return to the roots of Halloween as an anthology series. Either way, whatever the next installment looks like, there's several avenues for the franchise to continue, and I think it's pretty clear that amidst Halloween ends, Halloween will never truly end. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a tip. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that little bell in the corner to get notifications on more videos like this one.